You see? You see what happens when you're impatient? You should, you should let, let shows just like get you there. Slowly burn and get you there. Because we got something big happening on episodes three and four of okay. WandaVision. Yes. This is what had happened on WandaVision's episode three and four. Hit the music. your boy spider Minutes, aka d-man your man i'm sitting here with my sister my day one the one who holds it down for me michael host daria say what's up daria what's up daria and welcome to what had happened was our little show review show i need to fix that for the channel we got episodes three and four of wandavision that just happened uh the, over the past couple of weeks we're i guess we're taking them two at a time now yeah apparently yeah. that's just how that's just how life works life gets in the way so we're going to be talking about episodes three and four uh, for WandaVision. But before we get started, y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the little bell icon so you get notifications for everything that we do, ranging from movies to video games to wrestling to whatever we find interesting. We want to bring it right to you. Also, like into the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. Now, let's get it going. As we said, y'all little mugs over there, y'all, y'all, y'all little, y'all, y'all little chilling over there. Need to slow it down. And patient. And be patient. Hearing all of this mess talking about. Yeah. Like, oh, it's going too slow. Oh, it's not, it's not hitting its mark yet. And then episode three happens. It oh, it builds up injury. Episode four hits, and the opening just like slaps you across the face and slaps your mom across the face and goes, you know what? I'm your daddy now. That's that was excessive. weird. That was that was a little excessive. That I, was I, a bit excessive. I'm pretty sure that, that wasn't that was, necessary. That was, that was little, little, but anyway, so episode three. Yes. So so if this is your first time watching this, uh, like uh, when we did Lovecraft Country, we did a whole whole complete recap yeah. of of the episode uh, for one division. We don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but we do want to talk <laughs> about like some of the beats, some of the little Easter eggs that we saw happening, some little story beats right here and there. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into this real quick because okay. it's really it's really simple what, what's been happening on one division because for the first two episodes, it's we've been stuck in the fifties and the sixties of sitcom television. Uh, everything has been black and white, save for a few uh, little instances of color, which is going to be very interesting to talk about a little bit later when we actually hit up episode four. But on episode three, um, for, happening from episode two, Wanda is preggers. Yes. Wanda is pregnant and she's accelerating at a rate that is incredibly quick. Incredibly quick. In fact, throughout the whole episode, she's going through the full nine months of pregnancy right then and there. Especially, uh, you know, Vision brings in the doctor, get, make sure that they're getting all checked out. Everything is perfectly fine. She's like, she's perfectly healthy. She's just advanced preggers. Yeah. It, it's 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 a weird situation, but that's the whole that's the whole point of this episode. Is she's pregnant? And she's trying to hide the pregnancy from everybody else because literally a day ago she was not. She was not. Yeah. She was not. No, she no, no, no rotund belay. No. No, no buns in the oven. Nothing happening right there. Vision's going nuts, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Wanda's just like, yo, uh, it's normal. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Things, they, it, it, everything is fine. We're, it we're, just happens. Yeah, it just, it just apparently just happens. Like when a man loves an android, it just happens. Or an android loves a woman, whichever. But, it just happens. What in the hell? Why the hell are you making this review weird? I don't know. What is like, wrong with this, you? This, this episode was kind of weird. This episode was kind of weird. Episode three, yeah, it was a little it weird. It was a little weird, but, but we it have... was more on the Brady Bunch side. It was like the 1970s. Yeah, it, it felt more like the Brady yeah. Bunch or, or, or what did you say? That's uh, a life. That's a life. I almost want to say Three's Company, but that was what? technically the 80s. Wasn't it? Wasn't it the late seventies, early eighties? Yeah, but, but like everybody thinks the eighties when they think of like Three's Company. Uh, I guess, I if that's what you want to say, yeah. I guess. Uh, I do want to say that. Wow, just, just wow. Is anyway, everything weird. Yes, I am. Anyway, her neighbor, uh, uh, now we know it's Monica Rambo uh, at this moment. Uh, was spending the whole time talking to her. Uh, there's a lot of like little weird idiosyncrasies with them because she's trying to hide the pregnancy throughout the whole time, but it's too late. It's her water breaks. Yeah. And we have babies coming and Monica Rambeau is helping. But the big mystery for this one is apparently the other neighbors are talking and you start to think that maybe they're talking about Wanda. Like there's something yeah. weird about Wanda. No, they were talking about Miss Monica. Yeah. They said that she's the one who doesn't belong. Yeah. 
She's the one who's because who's a she weirdie. came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Wanda has her babies, but Monica is talking about you know Sokovia and Ultron and and, and Quicksilver. Yeah. Uh, she didn't talk about sword, but they did make an allusion to. Sword. Yeah, they did. Yeah, with her necklace, her nice little necklace. Yeah, around her neck, just a nice little sword, and it was like a sword and a shield, kind of, kind of little, yeah, kind of little, yeah, kind of that's setup. what it was. Yeah. But still, nice, nice little sword. But like, Wanda notices mm -hmm. these little weird, weird things, and out of nowhere, she just expels Miss Rambo. That's it. Yeah, this was a very simple, straightforward, but kind of weird episode. Episode three was it, it, it like it really added to the entry without you know focusing too much on like anything overt. Mm -hmm. it, it tried to feel make you fill in the blanks here and there. So like episode three, I was getting super stoked and ready for episode four to hit, which was just hit this past Friday, mm -hmm. and then it does, and it comes for your neck. Yeah. So in the MCU, we never really the only, the closest thing that we've had to seeing the consequences of the snap was Spider-Man Far From Home. But they played it up for laughs in a bit, where it's like, oh, hey, everybody came back from the blip, uh, and it was like a marching band just showed up out of nowhere yeah. in the middle of a basketball game, and everybody's like, oh my god, people are coming back, people are coming back, oh! Yeah. But I, it was always played up for laughs. Episode four was like, okay, there's consequences yeah. to this. Like, for instance, Monica Rambeau just shows up out of nowhere uh, next to a hospital bed. Yeah, we saw the snap in uh Avengers Endgame was it Endgame? No, uh Infinity War. Infinity War. Yeah, the so snap saw, happened at the end so of So we Infinity saw the War. snap happen. We never saw what happened after the snap or yeah. what happened to those that got brought snapped. back. Yeah. Yeah, like just brought back cuz everything was just like, you know, when it when it was an Endgame, it yeah. was just on your left and everybody's going, "Oh my god, they're coming out of portals." All that good stuff. Yeah. That that that's all happened in in Endgame, and everybody's like, okay, everybody's just going right back to the fight. Yeah. What happened to the normal people that got snapped? Half of all reality snapped out of existence, yeah. and then snapped right back. And Monica Rambeau sitting in the hospital chair, and you're trying to figure out, okay, what was happening beforehand? She must have been there for her mother, right? Yeah. And you're you're just really getting this sense of dread because she's walking through now full hospital halls. Yeah. It's a chaotic scene. Because people, people are, are like, where's back? my yeah. mother? Where's my wife? Where's my brother? Where are these patients coming from? Where are they just showing up out of nowhere? Yeah. And for them, it's like, we were just out for maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. I may have dozed off. And here we are. When we find out that Monica Rambeau, uh, there we have we have Sword, which is a, an offshoot of Shield. I can't remember mm -hmm. what the acronym stands for, uh, but it is uh, I more can about. See. Yeah, go ahead and pull that up for me. Uh, it, it is more about the whole extraterrestrial side of things. Yes. Uh, when it comes down uh, to the comparison to Shield, Shield's about homeland security. Sword is about looking to the stars and making sure you know all of our our planetary neighbors are. You know, doing good. Maybe we can go over there and get a, get a cup of sugar from 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 Mars, from, mm -hmm. a, from from a Martian or two, or from the Cree, whatever. But we find out that Monica Rambeau and her mother from uh, Captain Marvel, uh, her mother started Sword. She uh, got pulled in to help out with Sword. A nice little uh, uh, officer herself. I think she was a captain. Yes. Yeah, she's it, a captain. So Sword Sword stands for Sentient Weapon Observation and Response Division. Yeah. You forgot the D for a second. Yeah, I did. <laughs> a little late sword. on the D. I was, because it's sword, so Not that's sword. what it is. What? Not sword. You got to put the D in there. You got to put the division. Yeah. You failed on the division part. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we, we we start to learn that it's it's not an alternate reality so much as it is she basically stole a town. Uh, Wanda stole a town to create this extra world and she's controlling everything, but it's not so much a conscious decision as it is like her subconscious is creating a defense mechanism for what happened to the snap. Because I believe Wanda got snapped. I think I think she Wanda did. got snapped. I think Wanda got snapped because the, uh Oh yeah, because well, Vision got killed. Yeah, Vision, Vision got, had Vision got killed. straight murked. Yeah. Vision dead dead. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking Wanda was in the snap. Yeah. I don't if fully I can remember, but I think she was a part of the snap. Yeah. And that might be how she got into this town. Yeah. She, she, I think she got snapped. I, you know, 
correct us on this one because I can't yeah. re I can't recall. Can't I have, to, I have to go all the way back to in game to try to rewatch that and figure out who got snapped and who didn't. Actually, no, she didn't get snapped, if I could recall, because they were trying to figure out. Yeah, I don't think she got snapped. Okay, so she. You know what? Let, let us know. Did Wanda get snapped? I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. She basically steals this town in New Jersey and forces everybody, this town of like 14, 1500 people, forces them to play these bit players in her little, you know, fugue state where she's controlling, but technically not controlling, everything in this town ranging from uh, the actions of like, you know, little storylines here and there from the 50s, 60s, the 70s, and further on yeah. to just like these little mini interactions here and there. So it's all Wanda's in control of this. And whenever you pass through, you become a part of the the scenery. Yeah. Like Monica Rambeau slides in, she goes from, I am a sword agent coming here to investigate a missing person's case to, I am a teeny bopper in this little pencil skirt. Yeah. Yay. That whole thing. Yeah. I know that was really messed up and weird. I'm keeping this yeah. weird. I'm making this weird. I don't care. It's weird. Yeah. But. That's, that's basically what's going on with episode four, but the focus really is on like, what are the consequences of the snap? That's that's the thing that's really gonna be be the big focal point moving forward, not just with this show, but with the MCU in general. That's yeah. gonna be, I think the most important part right here because you gotta, you gotta at least think that there's gonna be some kind of psychological um, mess up when people get snapped back into reality and find out that they missed almost eight years of their life. Yeah. Cause, just uh, at an instant. Yeah, because Spider-Man Homecoming kind of. Well, Far From Home. Or Far From Home. Yeah. Uh, kind of said how long the snap happened. It was, like, it was like seven, eight years yeah. or so, uh, over, overall, I think. Yeah, it was some years. Yeah, and like, yeah. as as we saw, again, they played it up more for laughs. Like, yeah. uh, Brock was going like, oh, technically I'm 21. It's like, yeah, you are, but like, you're still like a 16 year old kid, dude. Yeah. yeah. Sit your ass down. Yeah. Uh, and this one is like going to focus more on the actual consequences. Because again, if you went to sleep one day and woke up and nothing seemed to change about you as a person, but like the world moved past you yeah. by nearly a decade, that's going to mess with your brain. Yeah, and that's why I'm thinking that, uh, that's why I'm trying to see if, you know, Wanda actually did get snapped. Because like coming, waking right back up and vision is dead. Yeah. And you can't fix that. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's what we're gonna get to. Yeah. With WandaVision. Yeah, I think that's what's I think that's what our focus yeah, is gonna be moving forward. So. Also, I start I need to start, you know, answering this question. She made life in this world. Like yeah. the, those, those babies are or at least look real. Yeah. Because like there's no indication that they are fake. Here's what we're assuming. And, and we know about assuming, but here's what we are led to assume. We're led to assume that Wanda has created this world. So if she's created this world, then yeah, she's created these babies. Okay, and but like if she's able to create the babies, maybe she's be able to bring Vision fully back to life, maybe. And that's, that might be what she's trying to do. Yeah. It might be, because at the end of episode four, we kind of get a glimpse of what Vision looks like from the result of Thanos. Yeah. And that that fool dead. Yeah. That fool dead. Yeah. But one of the big yeah. one of the other biggest uh, points that I wanna that I wanna focus on is the fact that since Disney, the big conglomerate that it is, has pulled in FX and Fox and all of them, they can finally say the word mutants. Yeah. So, will this be a soft reboot of Wanda's powers? Because when it came down to the MCU, they treated Wanda like she was gifted. Mm -hmm. like gifted no no mutants and no magic it was just she's no, gifted and they left no. it at gifted so are, is this a soft reboot so we're gonna get like an expansion or an explanation of her powers like maybe we're gonna right. be figuring out that she the, the big the big issue in the MCU this time around is more magical mm -hmm. and not extraterrestrial vis-a-vis uh, -vis Thanos we might yeah that's that's the, that's the focus I want to think yeah. about but yeah uh, so so episode three episode four really step the game up i'm i'm now curious about what's happening for the next two episodes uh which we're going to be doing uh, apparently with with the way that our schedule upload is schedule going. is looking yeah. at in the next two weeks yeah uh but let us know what y'all thought about the two episodes uh if there's any easter eggs that we might have missed you know comment them down below uh 
I know we said we're not going to try to keep it spoilery, but we kind of yeah. we kind of did talk we about. We might have did a little spoiler <laughs> just here a little and bit, there, here or maybe not spoilers, but maybe Easter eggs. Yeah, tell tell us tell us about what yeah. you thought about the first uh, the, uh, the last two episodes of WandaVision down in the comments below. Because again, we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. Also, head on over to patreoncom slash Kaiju where you get updates on the site, the store, and the channel. If you become a patron, you can get some exclusive content whenever we drop it. It comes to y'all first. Uh, you also help support us and keep us making these little videos. Speaking of support. Tell them where they can go. Also, head on over to hillkaiju.com slash shop where you can get new and exclusive merch. Yes, new merch, hats, pins, uh, stickers, shirts, everything. Everything that helps a little kaiju grow. Mm -hmm. And also, get it for your hubby. Or wifey. Or, or wifey. hublet. Or wifelet. You know what? I'm keeping it. Thank you guys for joining us. And we'll have to catch you on the next little review. The little... What happened? We're gonna fix this. Yeah, we'll 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 get there. Deuces.